Hello and welcome to Newcastle Transfer Gossip, the YouTube show which basically goes through all the rumours linking players with moves away or moves to Newcastle United. So today we've got three players who we're going to discuss, um, starting off with Dia um, from Rems. He is a striker who is joint top goal scorer in Ligue 1 with um, Kylian Mbappe on 12 goals. He currently plays for Rems. He's been linked with West Ham as well. West Ham have obviously sold Sebastian Haller and he is seen as um, a possible replacement for him. However, we have also been linked. Um, we all know about you know, our links with the French League in terms of the players that we've signed in the past. Um, the likes of Loic Remy um, and on more unsuccessful ones with the likes of Riviere as well. So this player looks like he could be available for a good price. Um, I finding it a bit strange why we would go for him in terms of, like for me, I would say it's more important for us to have inside forwards, players who can play alongside Wilson rather than players who can play up top. But I guess he may be, Stier may be seen as the replacement for Dwight Gale. He's quite highly rated. Um, he's already said he's got a clause in his contract. Um, and that he's 24 as well, so he's at peak age. He's scored a goal every 114 minutes. So he's been electric, basically. Obviously, we're all a bit wary about signing from Ligue 1. You only have to look at someone like Nicolas Pepe, who cost 70 million, who really struggled against us on the weekend. And, you know, he was the best player in Ligue 1. But I think if we could get him for a good price, then he probably would be a better alternative at the moment. We've got Callum Wilson, but the other alternatives in terms of Joe Linton, Gale and Carroll, probably not quite good enough. And I think Dia might be a good alternative. However, if West Ham and Arsenal are going in for him, the attraction of the capital may be too much and we may struggle to get him. But I think it's definitely worth having a look at him. So he is happy, but he has said he's got a release clause. So I think he would entertain a move if the right chance came along. And Rem's not a huge club in France, so they would probably... Also, Ligue 1 has had some issues with financial, um, some of the, the, from the COVID pandemic, and there's been a collapse of a sponsorship deal as well, I believe, which is affecting their income. So Ligue 1 clubs are more likely to sell, maybe at cheaper prices. So we may be able to get him. Um, Dwight Gale has been linked with a move to Crystal Palace. I don't blame him. He's had to be on the bench for a lot of time. I think I would be frustrated if Joe Linton was playing ahead of me when I'm a much better finisher. Um, he's obviously, his contract runs out, he's 31 now. Um, he obviously was very loved at Palace. Um, I think when we got him from Palace, he was not playing every week. And um, Palace, obviously, have been Teke, who's struggled for goals. I know he's scored a couple recently, but he's struggled for goals. So... Probably they might be looking for a different option alongside um, Benteke and Dwight Gale probably fits that. Maybe a move back to London might suit Dwight Gale. I personally would hope we keep him to the end of the year. I actually think he's our second best striker um, behind Wilson. So I, I would keep him. But obviously if we bought someone else in, then maybe that would free up um, a chance for us to offload Gale. Um, I wouldn't want us to offload Gale and be stuck with Joe Linton, Carroll and Wilson. I don't think that's enough, really. Um, Steve Bruce, obviously, I found, if, if I was Dwight Gale, I would find Steve Bruce's comments about him confusing. So Steve Bruce has said that every single club he's been to, he's tried to sign Dwight Gale at some stage. He said whenever he's, he's always been interested and was thinking about, um, you know, he would be interested in signing him. Now, for me... I think I would, if I was the manager, um, if someone was telling me that and I still wasn't playing, I would be very confused and feel a bit betrayed. So I don't blame it. Dwight Gale wants to go. We may be able to get a small fee for him now whilst he'd be free in the summer. Um, I don't think he probably would sign a new contract with the limited minutes that he's getting. So that's probably one which unfortunately might happen. Um, the last rumour is Fakayo Tomori from Chelsea, 23-year-old. 
Um, been out of favour, played quite a lot for Frank Lampard last season. Um, also had a year at Derby on loan with Frank Lampard. Frank Lampard obviously has a lot of faith in him, but probably sees that since Thiago Silva, Zuma, Christiansen and Rudiger, Tomori is the fifth choice defender. I think for us, he would bring pace, and I think that's one thing we do miss in our back three. If we are, to be honest, that if you have Clark, Lascelles, Fernandes, Shah, um, they're all good players, but none of them are rapid, and Tomori is very quick. So he might be an option. I think till the end of the season, it would make sense, especially if he's going to play three at the back um, in a 3-5-2. So I would not be surprised if Tomori was an option for us. Um, I think a loan deal, again, being cheap in typical Newcastle, probably is. And I think for Tomori, he, you know, he wants to play regularly in the Premier League for a bit, and this would be a good chance, because he would, he would get probably regular games at the moment. Um, I think with Kieran Clark, um, he's probably been the best centre back. We've had Lascelles struggling to recover from COVID, and then Shah has been in and out during the whole Bruce reign. So yeah, tell me what you guys think of those three transfers. Would you be happy to see Dia come in, or would you be worried about you know scoring in League One and being the top goal scorer in League One doesn't necessarily mean um, that we're gonna go. You know he's gonna translate that form to to us. And um, would you be happy to see Gail go? Um, and then finally, would you take Tamori in on loan? Let me know your thoughts. Also hit like and the subscribe button, it would be really appreciated. Thank you.